If you're in business, you probably have heard that you need social media nowadays to survive. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the four best social medias for you to utilize as a business owner so you can get more clients and more business. And if you stick around till the very end, I'm gonna give you the secret tool so that you can utilize all these platforms to the best of your advantage so that you can be like a Thanos with all of his gauntlets and all of his infinity stones. Let's get started. My name is Brandon Fortino. I'm the CEO and founder of Shortform Pros. And the question that I get asked a lot is, Brandon, which social media platform should I use? So today we're gonna dive deep into these four different platforms that we're gonna be utilizing that I think is the best platforms for you to start your business or if you already have a business, for you to continually grow and scale using the leverage that it has. So let's get started. The first platform that we're gonna talk about is Facebook and Facebook Reels. I know, everybody said it. Brandon, isn't Facebook dead? No. Real answer is no, Facebook is not dead. People are still using Facebook. In fact, 2.6 billion people around the world still uses Facebook every single day. Imagine 2.6 billion. That's about a third of the world population total. And here's some of the reason why you wanna utilize Facebook and especially Facebook Reels. First and foremost, their algorithm is similar to Instagram. They're technically owned by the same company, Meta. And so when you understand the algorithm of Facebook, you also understand the algorithm of Instagram. That way it goes hand in hand, boom, you just got two social media at once and a video. Just kidding, we're gonna keep going. The second, you can connect your Facebook to your Instagram. That way, when you post on one, you'll also post on the other. And the reason why you wanna do this is because you have two different sets of people that are following you on both of those platforms. So by pushing the post on one platform and it goes to two, and when you're doing that, it's like you're hitting two birds with one stone. When you post on Facebook, it can automatically post on Instagram and vice versa. That way you can reach twice the amount of people by the one time amount of work. Another great reason why Facebook is a great way for you to use as a business is that Facebook has some of the best communities out there compared to all the different social media platforms. You might have heard it and probably you're a part of some of these groups. They're called Facebook groups. By having this feature on Facebook, you literally are able to build your own community within Facebook. So say for example, if someone just discovered you on your videos, on Facebook Reels or on Instagram Reels, they can learn more and get to know you better by joining your free Facebook group. And when you have them in your Facebook group, this is a great opportunity for you to nurture those relationships relationships and eventually closes into your clients. Now let's go over the cons of Facebook. And quite frankly, there aren't that many cons with Facebook. I think Facebook is still a great platform for you to utilize. And I also think that just because they're one of the first ones and you might call it outdated, Nowadays, there are still 2.6 billion people around the world that you can sell your product to. So definitely utilize Facebook. Platform number two, you might have already guessed it, it's Instagram. So this is a huge one and it's personally my favorite platforms for you to utilize right now as a business owner or entrepreneur. Instagram is still underutilized and here's why. So when I deal with a lot of personal brands and business owner in my own business at Shortform Pros, literally I've had some clients that are building a six to seven figure brands strictly on Instagram. And that's not because of chance. Instagram Reels and DM feature is probably one of the best combinations to social media that you can get. If you decide to post Instagram Reels consistently on Instagram, their algorithm will literally push your videos to 80% non-followers. That means that your videos are more likely to be seen from people that might be interested in your product. And it's free. I think a lot of business owners are underutilizing this feature of Instagram alone. Now guarantee that you post consistently, you can get a lot of views very quickly to you and your business. And this is one of the greatest ways to build awareness on your brand, on your business, so that eventually you'll become everywhere. And let's talk about the DM feature on Instagram. When you get people to start following you, liking your videos, and also commenting on your posts, you have the ability to literally go in there and say hi to them. Now you have the ability to personally connect with your audience and turn them to customers through the DM. So when you pull these attention from the videos that you post, say you post 30 videos in a month and one of them goes viral, Woohoo! you got a viral video, which is different with every account. Some people consider 500 viral, some people consider a thousand viral, some people consider a million views as viral. But all in all, you can still reach out to these people that are engaging with your content 
through Instagram DMs. Now, platform number three, the almighty YouTube. Now, YouTube is the reason why we're all here. This is the reason why I'm making these videos. As a business owner, you need to understand that YouTube is not a social media platform. Now, you might be asking like, Brandon, oh my God, like you said this video is about social media platforms. I know, I had to slip this in here, but YouTube is actually a search engine. And don't believe me? Let me give you an example. Think of a time where your TV remote is not working and you're trying to figure out why it's not working and you don't know what to do. You literally tried everything, pushing every buttons. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go on YouTube and type in my TV remote is not working guide or help from there you'll sit through a video no matter what quality it is so that you can get your problem solved and as a business owner you need to realize that the reason why you should make content on youtube is to be able to solve people's problems you started a business for a reason to solve people's problem so whatever that problem looks like to you and your audience solve it on youtube make a three to five minute videos and guides on how they can solve their problem and quite frankly if they already watch it say they don't know how to do it themselves what are they gonna do? They're gonna contact you. And one of the craziest things that I find fascinating about YouTube is that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. On average, there's about 122 million people on YouTube every single day to look for videos. And in this platform, you literally can utilize the short form and long form video format, which means that you can make your minute and a half or less which called YouTube Shorts in this platform, or you can make more of a longer video, three to five, three to 10, like this one, so that you can build more relationship with the target audience that you're looking for. And bonus point, there's also ways for you to monetize your YouTube videos. You can get monetized by having ads on your videos. You can get monetized by having affiliate products. So, so literally the possibilities are endless with YouTube. And now the fourth platform that you need to start utilizing as a business owner is TikTok. I know I'm gonna say, I know everyone's like, oh my God, I don't wanna do a dance on TikTok. This is not for me. I get it, you're a business owner you're not supposed to be doing dances unless you can dance. But TikTok can literally make your business go viral so quickly. There are many instances where businesses post a video or two videos on TikTok and it instantly gets millions of views. It feeds them the business. It even gets them so overwhelmed that they can't fulfill these products because of the views and the attention they're getting from TikTok. From the algorithm standpoint, TikTok will give you the best chance of going super viral. And if you notice, TikTok is the first company that brought up the idea of this whole algorithm that is then later copied by Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social media platforms. Their algorithm is so good at predicting what you like and what you don't like that all of the other social media platforms copied it. Now, how are you gonna utilize this platform as a business owner? Now, if you're looking to grow your personal brand as the business owner, you can make videos that, again, educate people. So as a business owner, how do you utilize TikTok to your advantage? Well, instead of doing dances, you can spend your time educating your audience on the problems that they may have. Again, people don't know the problems that they have. And you as a business owner, the reason why you start a business is because you want to solve that problem. So create content about that. If you're a realtor, create videos on why it's important to buy a home in your early 20s. Say you're a dentist, talk about why it's a good idea to brush three times a day instead of two times a day. Now, again, these videos have to be very short, a minute and a half or less, because that's where most people like to watch these videos. And something to keep in mind about TikTok is that even though their algorithm is probably the best algorithm when it comes to going viral, their DM feature is not really the greatest right now. Hence why a lot of business owners use TikTok to bring a lot of people into their funnel. So this can look like offering a lead magnet, offering an email list or a newsletter. From there, they move them away from TikTok and they can start nurturing those leads on the back end and then close on those sales. Now, bonus points, if you say like, oh my God, Brandon, there's so many platforms. How do I keep up? Do I need to hire somebody to post on all my behalf on all of these platforms? You can. I personally post all manually. I have a team of assistants that helps me on my day-to-day -day operations here at Short Form Pros. But at the end of the day, I still like posting because I think it's kind of fun creating content and giving them to the world. If you're the type of person that wants to optimize your operation, you can look into tools like Hootsuite or Agora Pulse. That way you're able to manage all these different platforms all under one software. And if you want access to that, I just dropped the link into my description. That way you can have that easily and readily available. Now to recap, here's the four best platforms for you to use as business owners. Number one, Facebook, because there's still a lot of people on Facebook. 
Number two, Instagram. The DM feature in Instagram Reels is like back-to-back -back combo. It's like punch, punch, and then jab. You wanna make sure you create content on Reels so that you can create the reach and also use the DMs to connect with your audience. Number three, YouTube, the second biggest search engine in the world. Create long form and also short form videos. That's one minute and below. And also video explaining like this, three to five, three to 10 minutes so that you can connect with your audience deeper. And last but not least, the elephant in the room, TikTok. This is the best platform for you to go viral. So for you to bring in a lot of people into your marketing funnel, make sure to use TikTok along with all the other social media platforms out there. That's all for me. My name is Brandon. If you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to click subscribe and share this video to a friend that might need it or a business owner friend that they might need to know which platform is the best use for their business. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.